All right. Hello, everybody. Ryan here from Precision Trading Labs in New York City. Um, I have to apologize right at the beginning of the video because usually we start this, uh, we usually send this out Monday morning. This is in your inbox or wherever you watch us. And uh, we do the, the Mitch or I do the full uh, rundown on the market. But uh, my wife is sick and his wife is sick. So we're not getting it until the, the close of business on Monday. It's okay. It actually is probably a little bit better on the info side. So I will look at today's action and we'll look forward for the week on uh, the major uh, things we look at. Okay. So um, give me one second. I'm going to share my screen. Should have it there now. Let's go over here and look at the disclaimer. Let me leave that up there for you guys. You guys know we have to do that. We move, zoom around it and we'll jump right into the market. Okay. Uh, I've got to look at a few things with you. All right, so let's not look at Baba. Oh, wait, uh, you leave that up here long enough? Probably, okay, all right. Just so you guys know, the disclaimer is always gonna be in the YouTube description, um, Yeah, just for our safety and, and yours, okay? So let's go in and let's look at the SPY. See what we can expect here. So, you know, let me just clean it off. So, you know, pretty bearish last week. I mean, that's a that's a pretty sizable sell off and scared the hell out of a few people. Looks like um, we did recover. Looks like we struck that little, you know, I'm going to call it an imperfect demand zone right here. Uh, just. You know, I think I'm just too selective sometimes, but it is what it is. Uh, hit here, we're sh we've bounced an okay amount. I don't know how far this has gone. Let me just do my risk reward here, and I will tell you what I think. Yeah, so it's already up about two to one from that. You know, like what I said is the uh, oops, uh, uh, imperfect demand zone there. Let me mess around with the time frames, and let's go down a. This is a four hour. Let's use a three. And I'm curious to see if. We're about to hit some kind of major supply area where price is going to return back to. Yeah. So this I looked at something like this on the queues that I was just talking to my students about. Um, Not perfectly the same. I think I still have it, but let me go over here. Right. And right here, you'll see right there, price shot up and then struggled and dropped. You know, I mean, that's, <laughs> uh, that's what we're looking for here. When I go over to the queues, you'll see it. So I'd be shocked if price comes in here and just rips through it. I don't think there's big news coming out tomorrow. So uh, in here, let me throw some lines on here. Yeah, so this this could be a potential like little area where price starts to gas out. You will see it starts to slow right right above right below it. So um, eh, keep an eye on that. Let's let's take a look. Let's go over to the queues now. Um, this was a little day trade from this morning. A short. It only got about two to one, and then just started rocketing. So you know, I uh, is what it is there. Let's go. We do have another one right there. It does not look the same. Let's see, was I looking at that in a daily? I don't think it was a 195. Hang on. No, I guess not. Mm, all right, I guess that the do one more trick here. All right, in the cues, it's not as as pronounced, and I guess we got to use the one hour there. All right, that's okay. All right up here is what I was looking at. I thought there was something that this kind of looks like it, but the spy in the cues, you know, they're not perfect, but. They trade similarly. So in here where price kind of come came up and is dropping a little bit, 
Now, that I don't like nearly as much as I do on the spy. And it's a decent distance away compared to the spy also. So keep an eye. Make sure you're keeping aware of that. Um, this is a busted supply zone right here. Um, worked out nicely for a, d a day trade, but for a holding for a long period, it, it, it just wasn't going to do. So let's go over to IWM, and then we will end on TLT. So did this not even try to rally? Wow. Okay. So I didn't. Hmm, that's you know then this is gonna be a problem <laughs> in the economy, boys. Um, we're sitting right here. You'll see how price tried to rally this morning, um, and then just couldn't. And really, just didn't do much today. That's like the most current area of uh, current little cluster there. Mm, that does not bode well because, uh, you know, it's all small cap side, right? So um, in here is all tested demand. It's beat up. <sighs> you know, there's something small right here where price gapped. You could call this okay demand just because of the gap, but that's not a lot of room for price. to, And that's a good distance away. <laughs> so um, uh, eh, small caps tend to feel it as, you know, we approach recession. Um you know, I know the last number came in good on GDP, but bankruptcy's number has been scaring me. Not for trading. For trading, it doesn't matter, to be honest with you. Like, But for, our, you know, people's personal well-being. Something. Okay, so this is, you'll see here, this is a one-hour chart of the IWM. You had a really nice supply area there. Let me try it like that. And then when price came up, you'll see. Much like the Qs worked out pretty good. It went about two to one. This looks like it went a little bit further. Let's just lay it out. I think it's worth it. Oh, yeah, that went three to one. You know, who knew? Uh, I wasn't watching that WM this morning. I had laid out that supply area and the queues to my members uh, in our chat room yesterday. Um, I had some, you know, I was drinking coffee yesterday morning before the kids were up and I was just charting a little bit preparing for the week. So I was ready for the Q's one. I didn't look at the IWM though. That's what I get. Um, let's go over to the TLT and then we'll call it a day. All right. So let's get some of the old stuff off. Oh, I think he's really high on that. It's interesting. For you option traders that watch us, uh, IV is kind of high on TLT. Guess we know why though. Wow, this chart is a wreck. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to go to the daily then. All right, let me go here. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Sorry, I was. Try I want to pop up to a weekly. Wow. This is So TLT is about to be into no man's land. Wow. All I hear about is interest rates on TV. And how far back can I go on this? All right, just let it load. All right, all this, I mean, so all areas that kind of held is like eh, like sloppy support around 91 to 87. I mean, there's no clear demand. I'm really kind of surprised given all the talk about bonds and stuff and yields and so and yield curve. Um, but I got nothing here to talk about on on TLT. I'm going to go down a couple of time frames and just see if there's anything to get short from. Mm, no, I'm not a big fan. Structurally, nothing here. Sorry, guys. Yeah, nothing here on TLT. So I'm sorry I can't replace it with anything. I, I only want to give you guys really good 
content that I uh, be willing to trade with or talk to my members about, stuff like that, um, and nothing here on TLT, in my opinion. You know, if Mitch does a video, you know, sometimes we all have, you know, that's a good thing about trading. We all have sometimes conflicting opinions, uh, strategies, all kind of stuff, different things we see in the market. Um, I got nothing here for you. But what I'd like you to do is kind of take a look at the video, what you just saw. Think about how this could benefit you and think if it can, right? So if it can benefit you, like in the in our in our coaching program, we talk a lot about different setups with like Amazon, the Qs, um, uh, Tesla, a lot of names, and then we do a lot of stuff focused on options. Uh, take a look at the video. If you think this is something that could benefit you, go to the link in the description. I have all my contact info in there and my calendar link. You can schedule a call with me. Um, we can have a conversation about it and see if you know we're a right fit for working together. And um, you know we'll take it from there. But uh, with that, uh, if you wouldn't mind also giving this. Uh, Give this video a like. It tells the algorithm you guys like us, and uh, we'd really appreciate it. Um, if any of my members are watching out there, I really appreciate your support. And uh, with that, call it a day, and uh, stay safe trading out there, guys. Okay, it's uh, wicked markets. Uh, be careful. All right?